Good day viewers, thank you for joining us. Here we want to solve this problem and uh, find the value of x. Now let's write 2 minus root uh, 2 minus root 3 there. So we have 2 minus root 3. Can be written again and we say this is 2 minus root 3 multiplied by 2 plus root 3. Also divided by 2 plus root 3. As you know that here 2 plus root 3 can cancel 2 plus root 3. So we are still going to have the same thing as 2 minus root 3. But now let's expand this. We can expand this one. There are conjugate sort here. And then when we expand conjugate sort, we have 2 square minus root 3 all squared. Then over 2 plus root 3. So what we have done here is expanding this bracket so which will give us here we are going to have 2 squared as 4 that's 4 minus 3 square we cancel square root then over 2 plus root 3 so here we are going to have 4 minus 3 that's 1 over 2 plus root 3 that means our 2 minus root 3 can be replaced with 1 over 2 plus root 3. Then this equation can be written again as 2 plus root 3 or is to power x. Then plus, instead of writing 2 minus root 3 now, we can write 1 over 2 plus root 3. So 1 over 2 plus root 3 or is to power x then equals to 4. So from there now, 1 raised to power x and 2 plus 3 raised to power x. So 1 raised to power x is still 1. We can write it again and say this is 2 plus root 3 all raised to power x. Then plus 1 over 2 plus root 3 all raised to power x. Then equals to 4. Now let's make this equation a little bit simpler. By using the letter to represent 2 plus root 3 or square x, so let u now be equal to 2 plus root 3 all to the power of x. Then we can write the equation again and we say we have. So this will be u plus 1 over u, then equals to 4. Then from there, we can clear this fraction by multiplying through by u. So multiply this by u, multiply this by u, multiply this by u. Then we are going to have, from there we have u squared now, plus 1 equals to 4u. So therefore, let's bring 4u to this side to form a quadratic equation. We have u squared minus 4u plus 1 equals to 0. Now we can solve this quadratic equation using the formula method. Here our a is 1, coefficient of u square that's 1, b is minus 4, coefficient of u and c is 1. So using the formula that this quadratic formula from there we can say u will now be equals to minus b that's minus minus 4 plus or minus square root of b square that's minus 4 square then minus 4 ac that's a is 1 then c is 1 then all over 2 a 2 times 1 so from there when we simplify this we have u in our equals to minus times minus is plus that's 4 plus or minus square root of Minus 4 squared 16, then we have minus 4 over 2, which is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 12 all over 2. And square root of 12 can be expressed as 4 root 4 times 3, and root 4 is 2, so we can bring 2 out and we say u will now be equal to 4 plus or minus 2 root 3 all over 2. Which one we reduce? Since 2 is common here, 
we are going to have to can go in each of these that will be 2 plus or minus root 3 so our u is 2 plus or minus root 3 so we have two values of u that is u the first value of u u1 could be 2 plus root 3 and the second value u2 will be equal to 2 minus root 3 now let's solve for case 1 for case 1 when u is equal to 2 plus root 3 don't forget the value of our u we say u should be 2 plus root 3 or is to power x then when we bring it here we have u now that is 2 plus root 3 all to the power of x it will equal to 2 plus root 3 for case 1 here and we can also raise this to the power of 1 we have same base on the law of indices we can equate the power and therefore we can say that x is equal to 1 from here so we have the first value of x to be 1 then let's take the case 2 from the case 2 now we have u to be equal to 2 minus root 3 and from there our u is t 2 plus root 3 or is the power of x equals to 2 minus root 3 and don't forget that instead of writing 2 minus root 3 we have already seen that our 2 minus root 3 can be written as 2 minus root 3 can be written as 1 over 2 plus root 3 so therefore we now write this as 1 over 2 plus root 3 and then when we have 1 over a for law of indices we can see this is a raised to power minus 1 and therefore when we rewrite this now we can see this is 2 plus root 3 all to the power of x will equal to 2 plus root 3 all to the power of negative 1 and the base are also equal here then we can say x will equal to minus 1 when we equate the power which is the second value of x now when we put this value of x into the original function given we discover that it satisfies thank you for joining us don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now